I wanted, to, I wanted to unify, you know, I wanted the unifications, and I said if I can get the unifications with any of the champions, uh, I want to move to 130 and fight right there. I also wanted to fight, you know, um, Tank Davis. I wanted to fight him, and that way we were able to move up the way. Tank Davis, I wanted to fight him, but, you know, we, I think that fight is going to happen. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but, you know, that's why I wanted to move up. I wanted a fourth title and, and the fourth division. So, is there... In your, from your point of view, what is the reason do you think that you and Gary were not able to get together for the unification? It seemed like a fight. You know, Steve Espinosa kept talking about how much he wanted to make it on Showtime. He said we have money to, to buy the fight. And what's your thought about like why do you think it didn't happen? That's what I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it was money wise or stuff. Maybe he wanted too much money or stuff like that. But from my side, you know, I, I wanted that fight too. I said let's make it happen. But I don't know the promoters. They come to an agreement or something. I don't know. If it was maybe money wise. I don't know. Do you think he crossed the line with that thing he did with your dad? Yeah, I think I he think he did, you know. But you know, this boxing, my dad said I, after my, I talked to my dad and he said that he didn't take it personal because you know, he this boxing, this is what you get in boxing, and you you you're used to it if you're in boxing, and then uh, that was fighters do they they talk and to get under your skin and to make the fight happen. So he said it is boxing. If he, yeah, you know, he said if it would have been like. Outside of boxing or something else, yeah, he would take it personal. But since it is boxing, he said. Did you take it personal? And that's right. No, you know, because I know Gary Russell. Um, I know him. You know, like in amateurs, me and him fought. And in amateur, he even talked stuff to me. He would be like, "Hey, you need to eat some, some food." Because I was too skinny. I was, I was fighting 119, and I was, I was like 116. And and he was like, "Hey, you need to eat something." Cause, and talk like, kind of like kind of like talking shit to me. But I was like, "Ah, oh, I, I, I'm used to it." I'm used to him doing that, so I think, you know, it's something that he's always been like that. So at one point, you were going to be fighting Flores earlier this year, so you yeah. were getting ready for him in camp. Yeah. Um, do you just sort of go back to that same sort of game plan that you and your uh, team had, or do you need to make changes because it's a different way or you just pick up where you left off? Yeah, no, we just pick up where we left off. You know, we know the type of fighter he is. He's an aggressive fighter. He has really good punches, strong, strong forward, like all Mexicans. And we just got to, you know, work on our power a little bit because we're going up in weight, and that's it. Your dad 